I love just like the speed and the adrenaline and the feeling that you get when you're driving. It's just incredible. Dane's a really hard worker. He wants to win. Everything that I know, I learned from him. The feeling when you place high and maybe just in front of them is crazy. He does things that as a racer myself, I'm always thinking like, how did he even think to do that? I'm Dane Adelson, I'm 14 years old and I'm a racing driver. Ready, three, two, one. Come on. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Oh. My first cart my dad was working on and I was working on and I didn't even know that it was mine until one day he said that I was going to drive it and was able to practice in it. I started racing carts when I was 11. I did it with my dad. It wound up taking me all over the world. I think I've raced in 12 countries, 10 national titles. It's just a sport that I've been fascinated with and it's just such a treat to get to do it to repeat the process and do it with my son. It just started from there and it ramped up really quickly and here I am. We're at Auto Club Speedway today in Fontana. I like to go here because it's the main track we race on. Everybody goes before to get some practice in before the race because the more practice the better, it's a huge advantage. On Saturdays it's practice and on Sundays it's the race and this is the van that we keep our, all of our equipment in. We unload and then bring it down to the tent, start working on it and getting prepared for the practice for the day. Helmet, gloves, shoes, a neck brace, this is mandatory. Once I move up to senior, then you don't have to wear it anymore. I wear a rib protector, and if you don't wear that, you will break your ribs because the amount of Gs that you pull in the turns and the, the seat is very rigid. My main form of training is just going to the track and driving and getting better at my technique. One of the things we are working on right now is distributing my body weight. So as you get bigger and as you get taller, body weight becomes more a factor in racing and especially in karting you can lean to control the outside grip. Looks like everybody's going out. I'm his driving coach and tuner and race prep and I kind of do it all. The first thing we do when Dane comes off the track after every session is debrief. We go through the onboard video and the data from the data acquisition system and we look at video. He's gotten really good at giving me feedback. We sort of come up with a plan together. One of the times I let go of the steering wheel. Yeah, see? Mm -hmm. Maybe just give it a little breather so you get clean out of that. So there's two aspects that we do in between sessions. One is the technical side on the, on the chassis, and the other is the driving side. I try not to talk too much to Dane about specifics. By the time he's sitting on the grid, we've kind of gone over everything. Okay, remember, just, you just focus on you, okay? The card is very technical. There's a bunch of different things that you can adjust, and each little tiny thing makes a big difference on the cart. If you just put a bolt right down there, then it'll change the whole driving style of the whole entire thing. Each driver has a different driving style and different way that they set it up. And you kind of just adjust it as you go. And each session you come in and see what the cart needs and what you need and what it's doing well and what it's not doing well. And then you make the adjustments accordingly. If the cart is unresponsive, if you're turning and it's going straight and it's unresponsive, it's very little, you could barely feel it, but it's definitely there. So how you would fix that is you would put either more camber, or caster, or change the front bar. And this is a big thing. You also look at this when you're driving to make sure your engine's not overheating and all your lap time. So you don't want to go full push when your engine's cold. Each driver has a different layout on their data system. I have it set up to where these lights up here, it shows up either green or red. Green means a tenth of a second better. Red means a tenth of a second less. A tenth of a second is a lot. 
And so if I change a corner and I want to see if it's better or not, and I'm on the outside of the corner, out of the corner of my eye, I'll see either green or red. There's always been drivers that I've really wanted to beat because they've been unbeatable for a long time. When I turn 15, I'm going to be driving senior carts, which is X30 and K100. And I'm also going to be driving shifter, which go 100 plus miles an hour. So here's all my trophies. These are really special because every race you would get one of these poker chips. They don't do this anymore, but they would give us little chips every race that you would sign into. This is from the state championships in 2015. Over here, here's my dad's trophy. He placed fourth in um, the Super Nationals in Vegas. These big ones are the championship trophies. So this hat is from the Super Nationals in Vegas. What's special about this hat is you can't buy it anywhere. You have to win it. So only the top three people from the Super Nationals get this hat. One of my favorite tracks is in Indiana because it has a very steep downhill part and it also has a lake next to it. So after the race, some of my friends and me go fishing in the lake. Next week, I have a race in Vegas, and it's one of the biggest go-kart races. Everybody around the world comes to see, and it's just an amazing event. It's the end of the season now, but in the winter, some races start up, so we really have no time off. I want to start traveling to different countries, many different states to try to race. There's many races in Italy and the UK. It creates so many opportunities. I think the proudest moment in my career was winning the World Cup in Russia. But there have been some big wins that he's had where I, I remember one where he passed two guys in the last corner to, to win it. And there's so many accomplishments in racing that become your highlight reel and he's got a lot of them. Outside of the track, we do a lot as a family. We live close to the ocean, we're kind of beach people. My biggest goal is going to Formula Cars and having a Formula One team recognize me and signing with the Formula One team to start my career. Formula One car is a lot different from karting. Obviously it's way faster and it has way more downforce. There's some aspects that are the same. Most Formula One drivers have started in karts to use as a form of training. The main person, people that I look up to are Lando Norris and Daniel Ricardo, they're both Formula One drivers and they're my idols. My goal for Dane has always been for him to be happy and do what he loves. Because I know a lot about this sport and I know how tough it is. I think as long as he's happy and he's enjoying what he's doing, he'll thrive. And each race is an extraordinary feeling. And there's a, a place in your mind called the zone. Everybody refers to it as the zone. It's basically letting your consciousness drive and not you.